Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations. Z plus W is equal to 7 plus I and Z times W is 14 plus 5I. Quick reminder, I is the number whose square equals negative 1. Now I'll be presenting two methods and the first one is going to be a little longer but I'm going to show you the outline basically. So for our first method, since Z and W are complex numbers, I'm just going to assume that they can be written in standard form, such as Z equals A plus BI and W equals C plus DI. Notice that in this system, Z and W are interchangeable, so, uh, and you're going to see that at the end. So now let's go ahead and plug this, both of these things into the equations. Z repla replace Z with A plus BI and W with C plus DI and set it equal to 7 plus I and then do the same thing with the products. And now we kind of got like a system of equations but let's go ahead and arrange the real parts and the imaginary parts and that's going to give us a cleaner system. Notice that BI times DI is BDI squared and I replaced it with negative BD because I squared is negative one. So now we have two complex numbers. We can go ahead and set the real part equal to the real part, which is 14, and then set the imaginary part to the imaginary part. And we can do it for both of these equations, and that gives us four equations. So we're gonna come up with another system. Let's go ahead and write it down, and then we're gonna start solving it. So this is our system, four variables, four equations, so that's fair. Let's go ahead and isolate C from the first equation and D from the second equation because I'm going to use substitution. So let's go ahead and replace the C and D with these in the second, I mean the third and the fourth equation. This is the third, this is the fourth, this is the first, and this is the second equation. So what we find from the first and second, let's go ahead and plug it into third and fourth. And let's see what gives us, what that gives us. So this just gives us another system of equations. Then the good thing about this system is that there are only two variables. So let's go ahead and distribute, rearrange the terms, and we're going to start solving. So this is a little better. And what we can do now is go ahead and combine the negative AB and the negative AB. That gives us negative 2AB. This is the most critical part. From this equation, we're going to be able to solve for either B or A. I'm going to go for B. And then we can go ahead and substitute this into the original equation. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's use the first equation, this one. Now, after working out on this equation for a little while, you're going to simplify it, and this is what you're going to get. And this is awesome, because we can get the A values from here very easily. There are two values. A is either 4 or 3 from here. So we're going to check both. Now, notice that A plus C is 7. So if A is equal to 4, then C is going to be 3. And then since we have this equation, for A equals 4, we're going to get B equals negative 1. And since C is equal to 3, D is going to be 2 from here. If A is equal to 3, then from here we're going to get C is equal to 4, B is equal to 2, and D is equal to negative 1. Great. Now, since we got all these values from the system, we can go ahead and write our complex numbers. Z is equal to A plus BI and basically that can be written as 4 minus I or looking at the second set of values 3 plus 2I and W can be C plus DI and if C and D are taken as 3 and 2 it becomes 3 plus 2I or 4 minus i. Notice that the values of z and w switch around when one of them is 4 minus i, the other one is going to be 
3 plus 2 ion. And we talked about that at the very beginning. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the second method now. Now, this is our system of equations. And what do you know about an equation whose sum of roots and product of roots is known? So if you know the roots of an equation, actually, we can make up that equation. And that can be done very easily. Basically, if you are trying to write a quadratic equation whose roots are z sub 1 and z sub 2, that can be written as x squared minus z sub 1 plus z sub 2 times x plus z sub 1 times z sub 2 equals 0. And this is from Vieta's formulas. Remember, we just talked about Vieta's formulas, I think it was two days ago. Now, let's go ahead and look at the sum. It's going to be x squared minus 7 plus i x. And then the product is going to be 14 plus 5 i. So this basically, this system basically gives us a quadratic equation whose coefficients are complex numbers. And let's go ahead and solve it using the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and write the quadratic formula to find the solutions from here. Let's the solutions are going to be negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Since a is 1, we're just going to multiply this by 4 and subtract and divide by 2. So we're going to simplify the expression inside the radical 49 plus 14i plus i squared, which I'm going to write as negative 1, and then distribute to negative 4, negative 56 minus 20i all over 2 and then we're going to get two solutions but let's simplify inside the radical 49 minus 1 is 48 48 minus 56 is negative 8 so we have a negative 8 49 minus 20i is going to be negative 6i so this is the number we need to square root and square rooting can be a little hard but if you keep something in mind it's going to be a little easier negative 8 minus 6i can be written as follows we can write it as 1 minus 6i minus 9, or 1 minus 6i plus 3i quantity squared. And guess what? This is equal to 1 minus 3i squared. So the discriminant is a perfect square, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and plug it in here. This number is equivalent to that. So now x is going to become 7 plus i plus minus the square root of this expression is going to be 1 minus 3i divided by 2. And now we're going to go ahead and split up, and that's going to give us the values. z and w are the roots. So if you, if you want to write this as x sub 1 and x sub 2, that's fine too. We're going to get 7 plus i plus 1 minus 3i divided by 2. That's 8 minus 2i divided by 2, which is 4 minus i. And the other solution is going to be 7 plus i minus 1 plus 3i with the minus sign. And that's going to be 6 plus 4i divided by 2, which is 3 plus 2i. As before, we got the exact same solutions. And of course, they are interchangeable. So zw or wz. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.